What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, I got the chassis done as you saw in the last video. Um, I'm gonna flip it around and show you a better shot of the chassis when I get it outside, but I'm not to that point yet. I'm gonna leave the chassis inside until I get the rest of this stuff uh, repainted and well cleaned up and, and blasted and repainted. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I'm getting ready to do and uh we'll go from there so what i've got is i've got the two trailing arms and the torsion spring or the torsion bar mounting brackets and then the wheel spindle and brake drum assembly i'm going to strip all these down i've also got the shifter rod out here i'm going to strip all these down get them ready to where i can paint them and i'm going to paint all this stuff in the same paint that i used to paint the chassis um i ordered bushings for the torsion bars and for the uh trailing arms and the bearings but they haven't arrived yet i thought they would be here uh yesterday they won't be here until tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning this stuff up get it ready for paint so i've actually taken these and i've labeled them passenger and driver and an arrow in the center of the spring plate um i don't know if i'm actually going to use these i may be doing um air ride suspension and if i do then I don't put the torsion bars back in. I have not decided yet if I'm going to do air ride. Um, and if I do air ride, that means I got to repaint chassis again because I got to weld uh, brackets onto it and, and a uh, suspension bar on there for the airbags. And I got to modify the trailing arms. So I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but I've been seriously considering it. So that may be what I wind up doing, but I still got to get all this stripped so that I can get it ready for paint regardless. And if I do airbags, then I've got to get this stripped so that I can weld to it and uh, weld the uh, bottom brackets for the airbags onto it. And the main reason I would be doing an air suspension on the rear, I, I actually had planned on doing it on the front, but the reason I would do it for the rear is uh, for when I go to car shows and things of that nature. And also to make it easier when I go up and down my driveway, um, cause my driveway is really rough. So anything to make it easier when I'm going up and down the driveway would make it better in the long run. So I've ordered new urethane bushings for here, new urethane bushings for here, all new bearings and spacers for there. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip all this stuff out. Hopefully it'll come apart pretty easy. I've got everything off of these, so those are both ready to be sandblasted, and then I can take them and paint them. These I may have to press out. I think I gotta press those out, which I got to press up front. I got that off of there. take the bearings completely apart. There's two washers on here. There's a spring washer and then a flat washer. And this is your outer bearing housing. Also holds the backing plate on. And the other thing that's gonna slow me down on this is because I wanna do, uh, I did decide that I wanna do rear disc brakes. So I have to be able to change the backing plate and all that and get all the bearing and everything set correctly. So there's the front spacer. I'm gonna leave that in there. And then there's your outer bearing. There's your spacer for the inside. And it is packed full of grease. And then 
there's this snap ring in there. Now it'll come out. Now that I got my jeans filthy. Fuck. Oh well. Alright, so now I just gotta get this part. And I'll be ready to uh, sandblast this one. Yep, those have to come out too, so they have to be pressed out. Alright, I'll have to fucking get those out. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. I'm not really going to do anything with these spindles other than clean them up and paint them. So I'm going to take the nut off. And then I'm going to cover everything that goes inside of the bearing housing. I'll clean it really good. And then I'll mask off everything from here down. And I'm only going to sandblast and paint this top piece on both of them. And then I don't think I'm going to do anything with the backing plates or the drums because like I said I believe I'm going with disc brakes on the rear and what I'm going to try and do is get everything from air cooled um, that way I can do a complete package but I'm going to have to buy it in pieces because I don't have the money to drop on this thing all at once because um, it'll wind up costing me about $8,000 to buy everything all at one time so that and I really don't feel like screwing with these uh, this isn't that big of a deal I can swap those out pretty easy but these are sometimes they can be a real pain in the ass um, I just really don't feel like screwing with them plus I don't like manual adjusters anyway I'd rather have um, automatic adjusting brakes which this brakes are automatically adjusting so now I just gotta clean the grease out of these and get the other piece of this bushing out of here. Then I'm ready to sandblast and paint all of this stuff and then I'll be ready to start bolting it back onto the chassis. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sandblast the, the shifter rod too and I'm also gonna paint it, but I don't really have to take anything apart on it. So that's not gonna be included in this part of the video. Um, what I may do now is go ahead and go up front so what I may do now is I may go up front and uh, start tearing apart the front beam and show how all of that gets disassembled. Now, I'm probably not going to use that beam, but I'm going to go ahead and do a video to show how to tear it down, um, show everything that needs to be removed in order to break it down so that if you want to mo modify it yourself, you can. Uh, I believe I'm going to go with a, a pre-built, uh, pro-built beam from air-cooled. Uh, so that I can do the uh, air rod. But I'm going to do 
stock height suspension on the rear with airbags and in the front I'm going to do two inch drop spindles with airbags so it's going to have a little bit of a rake to it when it sits so we'll see how it goes all right everybody so I went ahead and took all these parts up to my brother-in-law's shop sandblasted them uh, I've got them all ready to get a uh, primer put on them uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to put a uh, top coat on them tonight but I will at least get two coats of primer on them tonight so I'm going to flip your camera around and show you I've got some of them hung up uh, the two trailing arms are not hung up. I'm going to have to paint them and then hang them up because they're too heavy and too high up for me to paint. Uh, I actually, I probably need to drop all this down, but I'm just going to leave it where it is. So this is what I've got set up. I've got all the last little pieces hanging up that I was uh, going to paint uh, minus the two trailing arms. So I'm gonna, I might hang them over, over here where this red strap is. I might take that red strap down and hang them over here. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so I was able to get some of the, uh, or the all the parts, their first coat of primer. And uh, looks like it turned out pretty good. I got all of them. One really good uh, base coat. And then I'll go back over them again and uh, get a, a better top coat but that's a good start so i'm gonna do two or i'm gonna do at least two more coats of that and then i'll do a top coat so i don't know if i'll be able to get the top coat done tonight but i'll at least get two more coats of primer on all that stuff all right guys it's the next day um i wasn't able to get primer or i wasn't able to get top coat on them last night so i just got done putting top coat on them uh bred the can and it said that i could paint anywhere from 60 minutes 30 minutes after it dried shit just drop my lighter uh, i could paint it anywhere from 30 minutes after it dried to uh four days after four days it had to be sanded so i was good to do top coat so i went ahead and put a top coat on all this stuff so i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you all what i've done so far so here's my trailing arm shifter rod spindles spring plates the lock plate for the spring plate and then the other torsion arm um the chassis is completely painted it's in here in my basement i really want to get it out in the sun so you guys can see it i really don't want to do a i mean i'll do a close-up of it in here but so there's the chassis and it turned out really nice. I'm, you're not really gonna be able to tell from in here. <clears throat> One thing that I didn't show in the video when I painted it is I went back and put seam sealer on here and then repainted it. So uh, I seam sealed the top and the bottom. So you can see, you may not be able to see, but I did seam sealer all through here and all up here and then all down here. So, but it all turned out really nice. So hopefully when I get this outside and start putting the rear suspension back on it, it'll all look really good together. So since I just got done painting all the rear suspension stuff, um, it's gonna I'm gonna let it cure for uh, today's Thursday, so I'll pr I probably won't work on it again until Saturday. Uh, I'm gonna give it two days to to dry and cure before I start messing with it because I don't want to chip it. Um, I don't want it to be real soft when I go to start putting bushings and whatnot in it but i've got the all new urethane trailing arm bushings uh for the swing bolt and for the uh spring plate um and like i said earlier in the video i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna wind up doing uh air rod um i've been looking at buying the rear air rod kit from air cooled it's a uh, 630 bucks plus shipping so i don't know if that's what i'm gonna wind up doing or not but um that's what i'm really leaning towards uh which will mean that i'll have to weld on the chassis that i just painted and then um i'll have to uh repaint where i welded uh i'll cross that bridge when i get to it but i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the video with what i've got um next video should be uh installing the rear suspension or possibly uh disassembly of the front beam 
um, or disassembly of the car. I haven't decided yet because um, I may still keep working on the car while I'm waiting for this stuff to cure. So, I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But if you like this video and you enjoyed what you saw, please, like always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let your friends see what I'm doing. And I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great one.